we don't say that we're going to produce these critical minerals being carbon neutral, for us is not, I think it's not enough. We need to be net positive. We need to let governments, we need to let citizens know that our industry is bringing critical minerals that are required for the energy transition, but we are producing these metals in a way that we are, you know, evading 100,000, 200,000 tons of CO2 every year. So I'm Diego Ortega. I work for Anglo American as the head of sustainability and corporate affairs for Peru. Anglo American is a global mining company and we produce in different parts of the world iron ore, copper, platinum, nickel, diamonds, and low carbon fertilizers. Metals like copper, for example, are, are critical minerals for, for the energy transition, right? And most of, of these critical minerals come from developing countries. Um, and we need to, to understand how we have to deal with different governments, different with politics, with you know, different ways in order to make sure that we get access to these critical minerals and we develop them. So we need to go from a needed critical mineral to a wanted mining industry in these developing countries. You have to have a very solid and strong um, local support in order to make sure that you guarantee that sustainability. Just to give you an example, Queyabeco, which is our flagship mine right now, it's a copper producer in the southern mountains of Peru. Um, it had to be built in four years. And in 2018, in July 2018, the investment was approved by the board. It was a $5.5 billion investment. And we had two years of COVID. And it hit us at the peak of the construction with 29,000 people building the mine. And still, we made it on time and within budget and with five presidents in those four years. I don't know how many ministers of energy and mines in those years, but we still made it because we had this bottom-up strategy in order to make sure that we had a solid foundation at a local level in order to guarantee that the mine was a wanted mine. From its conception, sustainability was part of the business model. That's number one. Number two, I think the ambition that Anglo American has in terms of becoming a net positive, in terms of energy, becoming net positive in our water scheme. Number three, we have been very disruptive in terms of technology and innovation for developing programs in the region. Number four, we are not stick to one community or two surrounding communities. We understand our role to play at a regional level. So we are talking about three provinces. We're talking about the whole region where we know we are a significant player and an important player. And finally, presence. We are a mining company that is always present. You might not agree with me on some things, but you will always recognize that I'm always facing challenges and present not just for successful stories, but also for challenging times. You know, part of my role is to keep a holistic view of what's going on in different parts of the world, what's going on with geopolitics, what's going on in South America, what's going on in Europe, what's going on in the US. And having the chance to get to Harvard and get all these different perspectives from the academia from the businesses and having the opportunity to share some of the experience that Anglo-American, you know, is going through um, across the world. I think it's the best, uh, it's the best way to spend our time these days. Mm -hmm.